Adding images to your readmes is super crucial because it's going to make your repos look way more interesting to other developers and also possibly to people who are looking at your profile because they might offer you a job. Here we've got a pretty much empty project that we're going to add some random images to the readme of so that you can see how this is going to work. First we're going to put an image in the root folder of our project. So there's two ways we can do this. We can do it the HTML way where we just use an image tag with an SRC attribute and an alt tag. And for this, we would just use the file name, in this case, dogs.jpg. And we would do an alt of two dogs in a field. We can also do this the more markdown way where we say exclamation mark brackets. And then in here, we put the alt tag, but without quotation marks. So just two dogs in a field. And then inside parentheses, we put the file name, but again, without quotation marks. So just dogs.jpg. These two lines will give us the exact same thing. With those changes pushed to our repo, we've now got both of our images, the HTML syntax version and the markdown syntax version. Completely identical appearance, just different syntax. Now, what if we add a folder to our project name images and we add an image to that? To use that image, we'll do almost the same thing, except for this time inside of the SRC, we'll account for the fact that there's an images folder in the file path. So we'll say images slash and then the name of the file just like that, and we'll do our alt tags, of course. To do the markdown version, again, exclamation mark brackets, throw the alt tag in here without quotation marks, parentheses, and throw the file path in here without quotation marks. And with those changes pushed up, we've now added two more pictures to our readme. This is a great website for editing your markdown on. It's called stackedit.io, and you can edit your markdown and it'll update the display of it live so you can see what you're doing. So we've got three image tags here, all of them using the same SRC, and we're gonna give each one a width because you can do that in markdown. And if you just put a number in here, it'll do that in pixels. So right now this one is 150 pixels wide. You can also do it in percentages, so now it's 10% wide. So if you wanted your image to take up 100% of the width of your readme, you would just put in 100% there. Right now we're just going to put 150 to make it take up 150 pixels, and we'll put that on the others as well. We also have the align property, which we can use to tell our image if we want it to float to the left or to the right. But if you want to center an image, first you have to wrap it in a paragraph tag and then give an align center to that paragraph. Now you have like a little council of dogs judging you. In some cases with Markdown, you'll be able to have a style tag on your images, but with GitHub, you do not. You only have the width, height, and align. And for height, it's kind of the same deal as the width. You just set it in pixels. And if you have both the width and the height set, sometimes it'll stretch the image. If you have only one of them set, It'll kind of just do its best if you put the height to some like ridiculous amount. Then it'll still have to stretch it because it only has so much width to work with here. But that's the height tag. Another great thing to do is to make some screen capture videos with something like OBS. And then you can turn those videos into GIFs and use them in exactly the same way that we were just using JPEGs and PNGs. There are a lot of different resources on the internet to help you turn your videos into GIFs. Giphy.com is a good one, although you have to make an account. EasyGIF.com is also great, and you don't have to make an account. This is another awesome website. It's called TinyPNG.com, and you can just drag and drop your files onto it, and it'll compress them. It's almost invisible, and it reduces the file size by a lot. And that's how you do images in Markdown.